Hello there. Welcome to tutorial by Mr. Simon Shurtarik. Today we'll learn how to use Macromedia or Adobe Dreamweaver to make CSS file and HTML files to be used within your IG CSC syllabus 0417. We'll be solving one of the past for today so that the concepts are much more clear. We will talk about why do we use CSS and why do we use HTML with CSS all about integration all about Adobe Photoshop in the next lectures to come this lecture is basically about how to solve the past paper so please follow the following files have to be downloaded into a local folder make a folder on the desktop make a folder anywhere and make sure you have downloaded these files be sure about the extensions come down to point 29 Use suitable software package. Edit the file this so that it's only that it the, only the following changes are made. We have to make the following changes to this style sheet. So let's locate this file. Where this file is? Here we go. And it's style dot css. I will edit this with Dreamweaver. And this is my style sheet that has been provided to us. Here you go. Let's continue. Set the styles h1 and h2 to red. So I will click with an h1. I will open up my CSS styles tab. If it's not opened up, make sure you go to Windows and you activate through Shift F11 or it's placed right in the Windows drop down menu. If you come below over here, you will see you have different options one to attach, edit, new, and delete. We have to add the style sheet, so we'll simply go to edit. And the question says that you change the color of H1 and H2 to red. So I'll simply select the pure form of red color over here. Here we go. Apply. OK. And the same process is repeated for H2 as well. I'll simply edit it. And I'll make it pure red. Here we go. Let's go to the next part. The next part says um, set the style P to dark blue. So P needs to be dark blue. Right? Dark blue means any combination within the blue font which is dark. Okay. Set the styles H1, H2 and H3 so that the primary font is Times New Roman but if this is not available the browser selects any serif font basically what it means is that when you make a website you should give some options to the user to the computer you open that website that if a primary font is not available it's not found on the that computer probably it's not installed over there then there's another option given which will be suitable to be used within our website and in this case we will say that if you don't find times in roman try to find any serif font. How do we do this? It's pretty simple as far as the concept is concerned. So we'll simply come into H1 and we'll by using a comma we'll simply write serif and that's it. Which means that if you don't find any times new Roman, please try to implement or please try to use any of the serif font. I'll repeat the same step over here. And I'll repeat the same step for H3 as well and here we go so we've done this part set the styles li p so the primary font is Arial. but if this is not available the browser selects any of the sans serif font so the primary font should be Arial for li and p the primary font is Arial, but if it can't find one it will try to look for a serif font and the same goes for your paragraph tag Arial doesn't find one, try to find any sorry font. Center line styles h1 and h2, click in h1, okay, and edit center you will find in block. Here you have the text alignment and we have to change it into center. Apply, okay, and h2 as well has to be again center aligned come into block and text alignment will be center aligned apply so we're done with this part <coughs> set styles h3 to bold and italic sorry h1 to bold and italic so i click in h1 and here i go so we make it bold weight is bold and 
italic and we're done with this part make sure the style sheet that you have edited will work in any browser save the style sheet as and it styles one dot css and attach it to each web page as you create or amend it so we'll save it as with a different name we'll save it as and it styles one dot css within the same folder there you go print a copy of the style sheet make sure your center number candidate number are printed on the page that's what i will do for example name Tarik center number uh, zero one two whatever and candy date number again whatever applies to you and you're done with this you will simply go to file and you will print the code you're done with the first part you can simply save it again doesn't matter this will not basically interfere with your coding because you've seen every tag starts with the parenthesis ends with the parenthesis so there is no interference if you type anything after the closing of the parenthesis it won't really actually matter <coughs> open the file and it h o t d s nodes dot h d m we'll open this file here we go make sure that you locate the exact file here we go this is the file that we have to work with attach the external style sheet that you saved so how do we attach the style sheet we simply go into this we browse for the file and it styles one ah didn't appear so here we go I'll just type it place it there go to confirm you can see I have this attached this over here right 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 okay <clears throat> replace the text home page with the heading this replace it with the heading here you go home page has to be replaced with this then and set it to h1 select this and set this into a format which is h1 good works since now this page has been attached with HTML file I should stop now. Okay. Ah.